Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how I created this amazing makeup look with Sophie. Let's go! We are starting with the base of the makeup. It's quite simple, nothing crazy. And today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in one of the lightest shades. Using also a damp beauty blender to buff it into the skin. Here I'm using some powder to press in the foundation and I'm using the same palette to create a soft contouring on her face. Make sure to hit the bell and the subscribe button and I would like to have a comment of you what's your favorite color because this makeup will all uh, be in pink and maybe you say I don't like pink but I like any other color more like blue or green. My favorite is turquoise. What you can see on the video now is I'm brushing up the brows with brow soap. Um, you can use any brow soap you want, like doesn't matter and not even that matters, but you can use any clear soap. Huda Beauty's pink passion palette was most used uh, at this photo shoot and I'm using the matte light color to create a soft gradient on your eyelid. There. The same color is used under the eye and I'm creating like a ring effect around her eye. Now it's the important part. I'm sketching out where I want the cut crease to go with the more darker shade of color. And it's really important that you just sketch it out before you start in creating the effect because now you can make sure that the eyes are almost even. Um, it's really hard. Um, I never get it even <laughs> on both sides, but maybe you will get it and yeah. Now I'm using the same color but with um, a little bit more soft brush and creating the first gradient on her eye. And with this point it's quite simple, just go over and over again until you like the um, blending. Like you can see here. And you, also you can use um, or you can switch between the shades, um, use some darker, use the light um, again and then maybe the dark um, eyeshadow again until you like the effect. On her eyelid I'm using the bright glittery shade but not only this because I mix it with the other ones and to create the same effect um, like in the cut crease I'm creating an on the lid because if you wiping off the excess eyeshadow on her eyes and the next step is to create her winged eyeliner I do this with a flat eyebrow brush because they are really what it's called um, dense and you can create a good line with it. Um, also, of course, you can use a clean eyeliner, but I really didn't like it in this look. And I'm really honest, um, I had no urge to create a new one. I'm using the same shade to deepen up the crease in the eye. That's really important if you want a um, high contrast look. If not, then skip this part, but if you want high contrast, then just go on the really, really thin line over with a darker eyeshadow. For the opposite effect, I'm using a highlight on the highest point of her eyelids and in the inner corner, fluffing, <laughs> if it's a word out the edges and then I'm using the NARS Endless Orgasm palette to create um, the inner highlight. For lipstick I'm always, always mixing it. So I can never tell you what shade I'm using because I always mix the lipstick how I want it. And I love this palette so much because you can create every lipstick and kind of lipstick like you want it. Just use a clear lipstick, a lip gloss with it and perfect. 
On the edges of the eye I'm using some single lashes, I really don't like them. <laughs> and, um, but I like the effect and going over her dark circles under her eye with a concealer. Ah yeah, that's my cat! Oh, he was so small back then. Look at him, he's now really big, I think like 5 or 6 kilograms? Kilos? And back then he was so cute. He's now still cute. For highlighting I'm using the same NARS palette and focusing on all the high points in her face, give her an overall glow and also on her color bones. Um, it's later important for the photo shoot and you will see the final mm -hmm. photos later. Hi! We will show you today how to create this look inspired by, I hope her name, oh god, what was her name? Julia Baron. I can't speak Spanish. Can you speak French? Say it in Spanish and I'll link her. Oh yeah. Okay. Hi, it's Julia. 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 I'm using a fluffy brush and the cream eyeshadow and focusing it on the inner and outer corners of the eye. Also, I will go in on the eyebrows later. Now I'm using this tool. I, I have no idea what's the name of it. Um, you can use the end of a spoon if you don't have it and just go over and make some spots with the, um, with the product. Because we don't not only want to create the color effect but we also want to create a structure effect like some um, paint on a face. Um, Why I'm using green? Uh, quite simple. Um, I thought what kind of color <laughs> I want to use and I was like okay um, blue everyone uses like pink and blue because of course it looks good but I didn't want it. And Mm, pink and purple, yeah, also everybody. And I looked in the palette and was like, let's use green, like bright neon green for this look. And then my idea was to create this um, brushed out lipstick effect. Looking back on the pictures in this video, I figured out that I did it um, too softly because I think um, that the effect is too soft. If I had do it more, it would look better because everyone was like, okay, she wanted to create it. This looks more like I did a bad lipstick. You know what I mean? Like, mm, not that good. Going over all with the paint and I'm using a lighter shade of the pink. Uh, in the palette I used, there were two brushing on some of the color <laughs> um, on the whole um, body because after this we go over with the paint and if there are some spaces left out you can see her skin color and that's what I wanted to prevent like you can see here now and that's something I will do like over the whole face really important <laughs> test the color before you put it on somebody because um, the pink stained. The pink stained? She was pink after this. The green didn't stain, we test other colors. Blue doesn't stain, but pink. Black doesn't stain, but the pink stained her a little bit and she got it off better than I did because a few days ago I did a makeup look on myself and the pink stained so badly I had a pink um, stripe on my face that looks like somebody scratched me. But yeah, after this um, some oil and um, <laughs> some products after this I get rid of it. Here yeah, you can see the second color really good that I used. Going over with the green and filling in some gaps, really get your artistic side on there and try to not overdo it with the second color, but do some spots in the face. Ooh, and yeah, of course gold. I love gold. I 
and we're almost done. Ooh, that photo shoot here you can see our final pictures. It was really cool. Uh, what I would have done different is to keep her hair down, not falling down. Hope you like it and see you!